Hey guys, my name is Ari and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm new and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint Pinhead Larry from Spongebob Squarepants using acrylic paint. So I'm going to start off with the outline of him, just quickly doodling with a pencil and not pressing too hard but hard enough to be seen just in case I paint over it. So now I'm going to be doing his cute little choker. I'm going to make a frowning face and then another frowning face. Then a small circle and two ovals on the side to complete the bow. Now for the face, I'm going to draw a sad frowning line and smaller frowning lines with it. Then over the smaller frowning lines, I'm going to draw a dome, and for the smile, or his mouth, I don't even know if he's smiling, um, I'm going to do a line on the bottom and an oval looking tooth inside of it to make it look derpy. Now we're going to do Larry's ugly nose and we're going to add detail like his wrinkles in his forehead, his chin, maybe outline his eyes a little bit more and his pupils to see. So now I'm going to grab my white palette for my paint and a cup of water to clean my brushes with and I'm going to use my brush 6 by Art Studio. So now I'm going to grab my palette knife for mixing paints since it's easier to clean. So I'm going to grab white and red paint and I'm going to make sure I put a little bit more white than red so it can turn out to be like a nice baby pink. So now I'm going to grab more red and more white and I'm going to put it in a separate spot because this color is going to be a shade color and I'm going to make it a little bit darker by putting more red into it. So now that you're done mixing and you can tell that this shade is darker than the pink, the light pink, you can use the shade to color in Patrick's entire body. Now I'm going to rinse out that brush and use a different brush that is smaller. I'm going to let Patrick dry. So while he dries, I'm going to do outlines in black. So just for now, we're going to take our brush and only color in his bow. So now we're going to take our first brush we've used, the number six, and we're going to dip it into the first shade we made, the very light pink. And if yours is dry, just add a little bit of water to it because it's acrylic paint. So now with the baby pink, we're going to highlight the areas that would appear a lighter shade. So now we're going to get another brush, maybe a little bit thicker, and we're going to blend out all the paint. Now I'm going to use my cute fine tip brush, and with that I'm going to be doing the thin outlines, such as his eyes and, you know, his pupils. Now I'm going to grab my red acrylic paint and I'm going to add a little bit of white to it to make a darker red for the mouth. Then I'm going to grab Patrick's regular skin color and fill in the spots that need to be filled in. Okay, now I'm going to grab Patrick and flip him upside down because that's my preferred way of painting in the outline. So I'm going to do his belly button and now I'm going to take a tan color 
and that is gonna be for his like little pores of the sea star I don't know I just thought it would add more character to him so I'm going to be dotting those around his body So now I'm going to be taking my green acrylic paint and I'm going to be mixing it with my white acrylic paint to make a creamy light green. Now I'm going to mix it with my palette knife and I'm going to take my royal flat brush. Then I'm going to make his pants and it's easy to use the flat brush just I prefer that because the flat brush is easy to make lines with. Now I'm going to take my dark green and I'm going to add shading to the outside of the pants so it can look more you know, professional. So now we're gonna do a flip and we're gonna take a different clean palette and I'm going to be using a light shade of blue and I'm going to take a big fat brush, like probably the fattest brush you have, and I'm going to be just splatting and blending it all out there in the background. You can use any color you want. I just picked blue because I feel like it would go with the ocean theme with SpongeBob. But you can literally do any color you want. So. I'm just going to get close to Patrick as close as I can, but since I'm using a fat brush, I don't want to get too close since it's not precise, but I'm going to blend it out there. <laughs> we are almost done, and all we have to do now is write his famous words. Finally, now we are almost done, all we have to do is grab purple and add flowers to his pants. Now Dear we're done and you can give this cute portrait of Patrick to your friends as a funny gift or whatever. Or you just hang it in your room, you know, whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching and sticking through with me this whole video. Please like and subscribe and if you have any requests for me to paint, just comment down below. Thank you. Peace.